sir shall i start yes ma'am good morning everybody uh, arip welcomes you to the first session of the ph pro uh, the speaker for uh, today is uh, our very own principal dr m balaganpati sir uh, professor m balaganpati sir is a qualified musculoskeletal physiotherapist and he has completed his bachelor's of physiotherapy in the year 2002 from tamil nadu dr mgr medical university and he completed his masters in the musculoskeletal specialization in 2006 from minakshi academy of higher education and research center uh, he has completed his doctorate in the evidence based practice in low back pain in 2016 from gujarat university so he is having a vast experience in the field of academic clinical and health research experience since last 18 years sir has joined charotar university of science and technology since the inception of the institute uh, in 2009 and sir is actively and enthusiastically involved in all the academics clinical training and the health research aspect uh, on the addition of to this sir is also an active member of the two national organizations related to physiotherapy that are indian association of physiotherapist and indian society of ergonomics sir has also received a significant contribution award from iap in 2002 at kolkata uh, talking about his research paper presentations he has widely uh, presented many of the presentations uh, one of the research paper he had presented in the world congress 2015 that was organized in singapore and he also presented a paper in uh, world congress 2023 that was recently held in dubai sir is uh, credited with 10 plus research papers that are published in scopus and web of science journals and sir is also currently supervising eight doctorate students sir along with this sir is also variously involved in the many national and international research projects and he is an active member for designing the curriculum of bachelors and masters of physiotherapy sir have been invited to many national and international events either as a speak or judge for more than 50 places so uh, it is our honor to have sir and uh, one uh, cherry on the cake is sir has also written two chapters for the field of physiotherapy in the textbook of physiotherapy i request sir to please uh, continue thank you madam for the wonderful introduction uh and uh, and allow me to share the screen yes sir i'll do this sir i have done you are able to see my screen yes yes sir yes sir and yes sir so uh, first of all i welcome all of you for this uh, program physiotherapy aspirants foundation program we call it as a ph pro this initiative we have started uh three years back to support the students who is completed 12 and who are interested to join physiotherapy at least they will be able to understand about the some basics about the physiotherapy some scope of therapy and you lenses university for the instruction so have this opportunity to have a few glimpses about our university and the details my flow of presentation is about the charachar university genesis ideals and glimpses and also about arap which is a constant of charachar before going into the ideals i just want to to tell about this man shri sadar vallabhai patel sir he is born in this land of charuti region and he has given his life mostly for the development of the country and yes one said that education without character is worthless 
we in behalf of the charo set we believe in those characteristics also that we give education along with that the character is more important for the children we emphasize on all these levels so with this note i start with the presentation so this institution has got the heritage of more than 124 years the charo set which is problem mission from the two departments or two samaj i can say that is matru sansthan kelavani mandal these are two parent organizations for the charo set one is that the charo tar moti satta is leva parada samaj matru sans which was founded in the year 1895 and that helped in the development of social welfare and education support act they did some revolutionary steps in the mass marriages like organizing mass marriages in the rural villages as of now they have completed more than 100 mass marriages in this region across india also other parent organization is sri charotar moti satta ves paridar kelavani mandal which was formed in the year 1994 for the social service through education so under this mandal is formed for the public which is formed as a public charitable trust giving education starting from school the colleges in that for touch bearers who started with this growth path for late sri totave patel and late dr kis patel sir along with them there are few more people who are currently living and then they are contributing their uh, things one is dr sundar bhai patel sir we fondly called him as sundar kaka dr mc patel sir was the founding provost of charusat and also the um, uh, secretary for matru sanstha kelavani mandala chr and shri nagin patel sir he was a problem as shri nagin kaka he is the president of Tarasa Healthcare Research Foundation and our uh, grand mother organization we call as Matru Sansta. So these three people with the great leadership, their visions, the university is powering it to the next level. The vision and mission of the Tarasa University is that the vision is to become a dynamic global institution in a knowledge-driven world. to the excellence in teaching research and social contribution our mission of charusat is to serve the society by striving to transform it to to creation augmentation dissemination and perpetuation of knowledge so the students who come here for the learning not only come and get the degrees but they have to be more creative and they have to share their knowledge with the other people by sharing the knowledge with other people their knowledge also get enhanced their skill get enhanced we focus on those kind of developments for for the children as i said like charusat he started with the 40 students in the initial part in the 2000 year and now we have got almost 8000 students campus the various faculties and various institutes some of the institutes in our university are we have got chandbai hospital institute of technology which runs btech mtech and phd programs we have devanpur institute of advanced technology and research which runs btech program we have got ramanbai patel college of pharmacy which runs b pharm m pharm phd pt patel institute of applied sciences runs uh, bsc ms in various specialties and phd program and shrimati pm patel institute of computer applications which runs bca bsc it edbca mca ms it and phd hindu kaka kala institute of management runs uh, bba mba pgdm and phd programs ashokan nitabal institute of physiotherapy 
runs bachelor's and master's in five specialties and PhD program. Manika Kattopolo Institute of Nursing runs GNM, BSc Nursing, MSc Nursing, and Post Basic Nursing and PhD program. Baba Bhai Desavai Patel Institute of Paramedical Sciences, which runs optometry, operation theater technician, medical laboratory technician, and different programs like that. These are the various institutes and the programs. Apart from that, we do have the various centers which are developed for the upliftment of one's education, faculty development, and research development, and contribute to the institutes as well as the university development. Coming to the Ashok and Ritabal Institute of Physiotherapy, which was started in the year 2009 under the Faculty of Medical Sciences. The institute is patronized by Sri Ashok Patel and Rita Patel. They are technical businessmen, USA, and they are basically from Chandra. The two people, the couple whom you see in the picture is our Ashok sir and madam, which is where they are appreciated by our secretary, Dr. Ms. Patel sir. These patrons have contributed a um, uh, ransom of rupees five crores for the development of Ashok and Rita Prince of Physiotherapy. And they also donated one crore endowment fund and few more scholarships for the development of students in the field of physiotherapy. Our vision and mission of the institute is that to become a leading institute in evidence-based physiotherapy education research by preparing physiotherapists having proficiency and moral values. It is not that whoever enters into physiotherapy education in Charu said just only get degree. But apart from degree, they do have some basic moral values when they go out from this institute. Our mission is to create physiotherapists with the contemporary knowledge and the entrepreneurial skills of the society. Our president always said that instead of making them to work under somebody, try to teach them so that they can give job to more people. So create the leaders and give opportunities for the lot of people. That is another important thing where we inculcate in our students knowledge that to develop their skills where they can stand alone when they go out from them. Our charge set quality, quality policy is committed to the quality in all its endeavors, like teaching, learning, research, and extension, and to foster individual intellectual culture and to develop the graduates for life of purpose, service, and leadership. As I said, like it is not the only giving degree is the duty of the Charleswood and ARIP. To develop the individuals with the purpose to serve the society and also with to create more leaders who can serve the society in the future and in the country. Programs offered in ARIP is a Bachelor of Physiotherapy, Master of Physiotherapy and Doctoral Program. Bachelor of Physiotherapy was started in the year 2009. Master of Physiotherapy started in the year 2013. And doctoral program PhD was started in the year 2011. And Master of Physiotherapy, we have got five specialties. That is Master of Social Sciences, Neurological Sciences, Cardiopulmonary Sciences, Pediatrics, and Rehab. The core areas of functioning for AIRIP are constant of charter studies, academics, clinical services, research, and community extension activities. So when a student enters into our university, especially in physiotherapy, where you are all right now listening to me, we focus not only on the academic part, apart from the theoretical learning, practical demonstrations are given to the students, Adding to that, they have to explore to the various hospitals and clinics and then outreach centers. So the clinical services are more emphasized 
more important for any physiotherapist. And not only with the academics and clinicals, but the research, whatever you do it, it has to be documented. It has to be known to the other people. So publication is another important area or the dissemination of knowledge, what comes under the research. And whatever we do it, we explore, we get knowledge, we get skill, we publish, but it should be useful to the Understandably, it is not useful to the people. Whatever we do is, is of me. Children, I'd like to reiterate that whatever you are learning it, it has to be converted as an activity or it should be dissimilar to the people in the areas. Either it can be of urban or the rural place. So when a student comes to our department, all the four areas, we strengthen them when they go out. So when they go out, so they can choose any one of the path as their career for further development. But basically, these all four areas we focus at the undergraduate level for physiotherapy in our institute. Our curriculum is based upon the credit based semester system in our university. And we do have a choice based credit system where the students can choose the course what they want to learn. Few of the programs are within our departments, and few of the programs are across the department. University. So, those kind of options are available for you people when you come here for the learn. Because we see the curriculum as an overall holistic development of the any. It is not based only on the undergraduate level or the postgraduate level. Curriculum is defined to ensure that when you go out in the market, you can be competitive enough with the people in various parts of India. Our, our curriculum is defined or revised or designed such a way that you'll be more competitive enough the people in the state of Gujarat as well as outside Gujarat, as well as outside India also. I can assure that the confidence that we have already provided this base to a lot of students and I welcome you all also to be part of this. These are some of our contents where we have designed as a mere board of foundation courses, core courses and value-based courses. Uh, some of them are designed for the undergraduate level. Some of them are designed for the postgraduate level. So depending upon the pre-request, what is there for you people will be there, part of learning enhancement. We do offer some foreign languages at the postgraduate level for the students. Like we have got a very good academic flexibility at the various levels. Like we have got some enrichment courses, elective courses where the students can choose. And there are some interdisciplinary programs where a physiotherapy student can choose a, a course on mobile application implementation, mobile application development, or a course in the pharmacy or a course in nursing, like that. The options are wide based. That's why I said that it is not only physiotherapy, you are explored to more of other departments also. And ritual. And our programs are based upon the semester system. We do conduct the orientation week for every first year students when they come to our campus because we may be from different villages, different parts of Gujarat or outside Gujarat, or sometimes we used to know about various different types of schools, the language, everything. So we organize these things to know about more of the one to an interpersonal developments, like a campus visit, new adaptation to the new system, more games, other things. The teaching learning process in our institute is more of an evidence-based practice. If I already shown you the vision and mission, so we focus more on the evidence-based practice. We do teach other aspects, what is there, what is required. But when you are practicing it, you should choose what is needed for your patient, what is needed for your community, and what is needed for your society. We do have e-learning as a technical era more developed. 
we have got more of uh, I think 20 to 30 percent of the e-learning is also given to the students at various levels. And self-learning is another component. When you go more and more of higher levels, you can get exposed to this kind of learning. And clinical training in the highly specialized hospitals, continuous evaluation feedback system, and then interactive classroom sessions. These are the basic of our teaching learning process for any course or any year, if you take it, this all the process are evolved for the better upliftment of the, the students. We do provide some good teaching learning process. The basic features like we provide the children the academic calendar, lesson plans, e assignments are there, visits are there, educational tools are there, and quizzes, unit tests, like that, different types of processes there. And our learning domain and methods are like uh, based upon the Bloom's taxonomy. We've got various levels, like one is remembering, other one is understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and create. So depending upon the year, first year, or second year, or third year, or fourth year, the way of approach changes from year to year, depending upon the teacher's role. Depending on the teacher's role and then the need for the particular course. All these things are given freedom of choice to the teachers. They identify the talent from each and every class or children, and they designate the different types of models for the learning enhancement. You can also enjoy when you come for the various levels and try to utilize your 100% knowledge and skill for the for future development. And we do conduct the poster presentations, model creating and exhibitions. A lot of opportunities are there for the children. Try to grab it and develop your skills. We do connect the photo exhibitions, role plays in the classrooms. And some of the video tutorials are available as an assignments, promote the skills of the students in this technical era. And this is how you connect the ERP with the social media. Mostly, I think you all will be a part of your social medias. So our institute also has connected to the various medias. Website is there, Facebook, Instagram, all these things. So wherever you want to connect, you can connect it to various modes. Other important thing is you can go for the virtual tour also. The, I mean, the QR code, which is available on the website or you can contact through the WhatsApp also for the any processes for the principal. And we do have various uh, learning management systems to visit the learning. Like if we often use the Microsoft Teams nowadays. Now right currently we are using the Zoom mode. And we do have the Google Meet and then the Google Classrooms. So depending upon the just choice, they choose this kind of uh, modes for the uh, learning enhancement. And we have the innovative, innovative use of ICT in the learning. We have got one lab called uh, Computer Assisted Learning Lab. We call it as a CALL, which has got the basic anatomical software and statistical software. And then you can access through that also various library resources for the upliftment of your knowledge. We do have the field visits, like uh, computer visits are integrated with the clinical education for both UG and PG programs. And for the knowledge enhancement, and for the knowledge enhancement, we have got a uh, few activities or research oriented activities, and then Evidence-based practice, clubs are there, seminar clubs are there, general clubs are there, group discussions are there, case studies, discussion of recent advancements in various modes, like that also it is there, and systematic reviews. So when you come to year on year, when you grow the first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, 
you might be able to see these kind of developments as a part of your curriculum or as a part of your co-curricular activity. And apart from that, we do have uh, signed an MOUs with various hospitals. Like before going into the MOU, that we do provide a very good clinical service and education to all of you. Like as a physiotherapy institute, we have got our own outpatient departments in our college as well as in our hospital, Tarasat Hospital. Apart from that, we do have our outreach centers in nearby villages, like a uh, one center in Demol, another center in Mahoda, another center in Kamna, other center in Mahoyal Hospital, the center in Ayurvedic College, and two are in, one are in, one is in pipeline to be opened this month, most of the next month, that is in Gada. We have got this much number of outreach centers, and one outreach center in Anand is under renovation in the AV road. This is for your clinical exposure in the upcoming years, get admitted here in those in the knowledge. So apart from those centers, we do have our uh, MOU signed with the various hospitals like Ashet, HJ, Magoyot Hospital, Nadia, Tantra Physiotherapy Center, Nadia, Health Center, Anand, Ayurvedic College, Nadia, Shivam Hospital, Nadia, Medical Center, Cutters, Vadodara, DDM Heart Institute, Nadia, Bankers Institute, Nadia, sorry, Vadodara, and Mojibai Patel, Irudal Hospital, Nadia. These are some of the MOS which we are done with the hospitals and the uh, clinics, hospitals for their learning, enhancing the clinical learning. Apart from that, we do have a sign an MOU with the few of the reputed institutions within India as well as outside India. One is Ames University, Malaysia. Where for student and faculty exchanges, we have done an MOU and an Indian National Public at Gandhi Nagar and a Sarojini College of Philadelphia Surat. For the academic and research development of students and faculty. And we do have a very good feedback system for the students. Like uh, every semester, the courses, when we take it in the initial part or the mid of the course, we take the online feedback on courses and also by the, for the teachers, by the students. The inbuilt mechanism in the e governance and the role of coordinator of the also has been able to get from the feedback system and that feedback will be discussed with the teacher during the self appraisal so it's not that oh, it's a one way only one way it's a, like a two way if there are any teachers issues or the problems with the teachers or the problem on the course content we are ready to solve it then and there when it is required and few of them those people experts who are visited in our campus or some of the names are there. Uh, one is a Professor Vita Raja from JSS College of Physiotherapy, Mysore, and Professor Dilip Mavalankar, and Professor Dr. Ali Alani from Nanothi Hospital, Mumbai, and Professor Arun Maya from Manipal University, and Mr. Dilip, no, Mr. Chalagundla. He is the therapist for the Indian veteran team. People have visited and they shared the knowledge with us. And apart from that, few more people are there who has visited his the international scholars. Uh, one person, Mr. Richard Bally, is no more now. And uh, Mr. Robert Palacino and Dr. Gillian Webb. So there are some international scholars who have visited in our campus and shared their knowledge. And a few more are from the people who was, you know, came from other countries like Mohan Ganesan from US and uh, Professor Tanvi Bhatt from US and then Mr. K. Sivan from uh, NHS Hospital UK and Dr. Pavita Rajan from Australia. I think that she'll be having one session with you, all of you in the future. These are the few faculty resources in our institute. As of now, we have got a total 28 faculties are there. And we have got a faculty profile from different states across India. 
these are some of the evaluation methods which we have adapted continuous assessment of 30 percentage and summative assessment of 70 percentage so the term examinations will be coming every six months of 20 percent of month 70 months and these are the various modes we adapted in the assessment part some of the unique features are there in us is the internal improvement examinations know your answer book so those kind of modes are there so when you come once you enter into the college you will be you will, you will be able to know more about those kind of things and very important for the student support is that we do have the mentoring and we do encourage more of co-curricular and extracurricular activities we do have the student council and we do have the alumni association in our you know And we, this is the what we have supported our students, and they have they brought laurels to the institute and the university. Some of the they are in the various conferences, right? some of the competitions at the institute level, and since some of the alumni meet which we attended in uh, Gujarat, as well as one of the alumni meet was done in with Canada along with our uh, patron. No problem, they are in various countries and various universities. This is another act in act academic activity. We do it every year uh, under the name of late Srimadhi Chanchal Ben Chunibai Patel, Kanga Endowment Fund and Charger Endowment Fund, where these two funds has got almost 25, 25 lakhs of each. And it is get the interest what we get from this fund is utilized for the learning of the development of students or to enhance the knowledge of the skill of the student. Under that, we have got so many scholars who have visited here, Dr. Arun Maya, Dr. Gillian Dev, Avita Raja, Dr. and then Dr. Mohan Ganesh and Dr. Tanvi, but already I would mention the names. And this is about the physical infrastructure. So got any time to visit our campus, you can visit here. Uh, the details are it's available in the as a video also in the if you go to the website it is available as a video also you can go through that I'm not going in depth of these things this is how the, the governance works with the two-way communication we interact with the students as well as the teachers five-way communication we do more of the community-based programs we do conduct camps in the rural areas nearby villages and we do have connecting one program called the Watsala Matri Sambal program for the anti and post and women. We do connect a disability surveys in the rural community to identify the problem for the people and then to uh, try to solve those kind of problems. This can be resolved and then by doing some exercises, by giving them some education. These are a few images about our outreach centers. Other part, as already told, that the areas of research. These are some of the areas of research which we are working on at the master's level, bachelor level, and then PhD level. So depending upon your area of interest, which you want to work, so you can work on. When you come to the higher areas, higher years of education, you'll be able to understand more in depth about these kind of processes. We do have research promotions. We do have university grants. We do provide financial support for the students and faculties for attending conferences at the state level, national level, and international level. We do provide 50% of registration fees to support from our university. And we do get different types of art of equipments for different labs from the university. And we do provide annual awards for the students and faculties. And uh, we have got various research collaboration with various universities. And we do provide the best research paper awards for the faculties and for every year. One of the best practices which we have bought is the, the research of the undergraduate curriculum. And we do encourage more students to participate and then enhance their knowledge and skill. Of course, the financial assistance we provide them. 
the curriculum if you talk about it the skill development courses and enrichment courses are there so here you come here not only to learn about physiotherapy you can learn about humanities you learn about environmental sciences you learn about creativity innovation and you learn about uh, research you learn about some soft skills soft skills you learn about some languages a lot of opportunities are there for all of you but everything is available but if you try to grab it and develop your skill some of the sales for the helping the students at the various levels and these are some of the strategic plans for our future collaborating with the world class universities so we plan to come here for the bachelors the masters we may try to create a link with you to the, some universities where you can get your admission in the masters there directly from here and of course the research of eminence for sharing their views in health and education these are some of the few areas which we want to develop in the upcoming years and already we are working on it means we want to strengthen those certain areas and i'd like to ensure that this campus is a zero tolerance anti ragging campus so till that we are not come across any ragging from the visitor be departments so i can ensure that these are the few glimpses about the university and the institute who are planning to join physiotherapy or who are enrolled it uh, for the physiotherapy so thank you all for the listening and i end by presentation that if at all if you want to do some changes not blame the others first you try to do it and others if you and the they will follow it so be the change you wish to see it was said by dr shri mahatma gandhi ji thank you all once again for the patient listening this presentation